could you throw some light on uh, innovation? And when I mean innovation, this could be process, it could be digital. Uh, uh, there's a lot of technology coming into play. How do you get people involved in this innovative process? How do you get them to move from today we're doing X, tomorrow we're doing X multiplied by three? It's a whole different mindset. Let me define innovation as frugal innovation in our context. And frugality does not mean cheap. It yes. means that we have limited resources. And within those limited resources, we must find the same solutions as somebody in the developed world will find so that we can compete. And we can compete profitably. I think that is the success that some companies have had. And that is a mindset that we have to continually uh, pull through our organization. What we've done is to create subsidiaries in these last 12 months. We build on these adjacencies. So if you take customer solutions, it's a whole new ball game, which means we need new skills and a new kind of mindset. So we've created a joint venture and the company is called Grow and it's just come into existence which will really focus on customer solutions. If you look at electric vehicles, we had a subsidiary in the UK making buses and we have a subsidiary in India, which was actually a division. What we've done is we've brought the strengths in terms of technology, in terms of people and created a new company called Switch. And what we've done is we've created Switch in the UK so that it can have a global play but with a strong Indian presence because the market in India is moving and the sourcing and operational advantages coming out of India will be tremendous. With this, the bread, butter, accountability of these subsidiaries is very, very clear and they are run independently with the fact that some of us are on the board of these companies to make sure that there is a certain amount of cultural continuity and uh, governance continuity. But that's how we are managing with future tech. That, that's brilliant because a lot of conversations that we have around digital dexterity is it's not just the technology. It's it's and it's not about the operating model or a structure, but it's it sounds like you've been able to get the best from different parts of the organization, have that flexibility where they're managing the core as well as looking at innovation. Right? That's that's a huge shift. A lot of firms we work with, we find the challenge is how do you get them away from the core to spend enough time on innovation to on collaboration even within a company right because everybody has their business line so that sounds like you're jumping the curve here almost uh, when it comes to uh, resource alignment let's say what is happening is that no company today can exist by itself as an organization which is true till a few years ago Yes. All of us now operate within an ecosystem and you see that even competitors are collaborating on certain issues because they realize that with the kind of resources that are necessary, it is extremely difficult to do it oneself and the risks involved. So you share the risks. But here what we are creating and you've actually alluded to it is to create a partnership ecosystem of those who are in, let's say, the EV space or in the IC engine space or in the solution space. And these partnerships together will deliver the ultimate impact to a customer because the customer wants a lot more than what he or she wanted a few years ago.